R-A-S-S-L-I-M, that's wrestling. It is. We just made the list. Our weekly top five. Today's top five, the top five best, worst occupational gimmicks in wrestling history. The best, worst occupational gimmicks in wrestling history. You can, you can take it as best. You can take it as worst. I really don't care. Ugly. Anyway, number five. This is a tie because they both pretty much were the same thing. And one was, frankly, awesome. It's Boss Man, Big Boss Man, and the Mountie. Both wrestling police officers. One American, one Canadian. Although, I don't know, yeah, it's so Canadian. The Canadian Royal Mounted Police. Anyway, Big Boss Man, fucking awesome, by the way. Big Boss Man was great, fantastic, great wrestler, great worker, great everything. Uh, and then they needed a foil, so they gave him, well, first of all, they gave him the Mountie. He had to wrestle him, so he had to, because we all know, we all know the biggest enemy of American police officers is Canadian police officers. Boy, they wore at the border all the time. But then after that, after he conquered the Mountie, they gave him an actual convict, nails. So he doesn't count because that wasn't his job. He just happened to be a convict. And he sucked. Nails sucked. He never, yeah, changed, he never changed out of the orange jumpsuit. Never? You think? You would, after a couple of days. You, you know, would think after he got out, he'd want to change into something. Yeah, he yeah, had the, the deep boss, man. It was, it was bad. <laughs> oh, And he also, he slobbered when he talked yeah, a little bit. He had the foam out of his mouth. Yeah. Like, dude, you're free now. You're free. Go live, go get, live your life. Get a two-bedroom ranch in Boulder or something. Low profile. What do you, yeah. Don't be going, yeah, to, don't be going <laughs> to nationally televised events. In your fucking jumpsuit. That's how you get typecast, brother. God damn it, Nails. Boss Man Mountie number five. Four. Speaking of a... Uh, 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 this guy should have stayed more low-key. The Repo Man. If you're a Repo Man, and your job is to, to kind of go in the dark of night and take cars back from people who can't pay it, maybe don't wear... Don't wear a, a, a spandex jumpsuit and go to nationally televised wrestling events. That's just my, me thinking out loud. Also, we we kind of we kind of in this in this country have made repo men heels. How about just pay your fucking bills? What if you just pay your bills? Like if you think about it, the repo man's just doing something for somebody else. He's not taking the car. He's taking it because some, your bill collector wants him to take it. But repo man. Repo man. He had tires on his. He had he had tire he had tires on his shoulders, and he had because I tell you what what helped him was a lot of people would have recognized him, but he had the mask. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He had and he had he had the best mask possible, just the thing over the eyes. Ninja Turtles, just, just like uh, Mr. Incredible, just throwing that on. Uh, number three, and I actually don't know because this one is because he wore a tie and suspenders, so he's obviously on the job. He would leave the office and go wrestle, wrestle IRS. But was he an accountant or was he actually the entire Internal Revenue Service? Did he work at an accountant place and, and, and then come to work? Or because he embodied the, the actual IRS. Because he always wanted you to pay taxes. Yeah. Your accountant really doesn't care if you pay your taxes or not. Your accountant's job is to, to help, you, help you pay your taxes in a timely and efficient manner. And then you pay him for that. Was he a heel? I mean, he was just getting, again, going This guy's to just going to work. Same thing with Repo Man. This guy's just doing his job. Now that I think about it. But doesn't everybody want to just cheat a little bit, you know, uh, you know, have him come around and really kind of bean count? I don't know. Um, but I think he was an, an investigator, not just an accountant. He went out there. So you think he was a, like an, an auditor? So why wouldn't he be called the auditor? Auditor. That's a great name, too. No, nah, it's too hard to say. How are your taxes? I don't want to talk about my taxes. Well, it seems so. Um... I love how we wrestle with a tie. I think I feel like that's the first thing to take off in a fight. Changing the subject, Randy. Yeah, change the subject quick. So how's it going? Fucking tax cheat. You're a tax cheat. No, and he also had to go home at night and raise two amazing gentlemen that became pro. But you know what? You, you know you know what's impressive about, or you know, IRS was friends with Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, which tells me Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase paid his fair share in taxes. Even though he's a bad guy, seems like he was really on his P's and Q's. Seems like he had everything taken care of. If the IRS is so friendly with him, like IRS wasn't taking anything back. He didn't send Repo Man. Why wasn't IRS and Repo Man a tag team? 
because IRS is the one. They'll repossess your shit if you don't pay your taxes. That doesn't, this doesn't even make sense. Okay, all right, all right, new, new faction, okay? IRS sends Repo Man out to repo your stuff, and when Repo Man gets there and you pull a gun on Repo Man, the big boss man and the Mounties show up and arrest you, and they throw you in jail where Nails rapes you. Stuff writes itself. I think we got it. Number two. Can you imagine you're an independent wrestler and you, you've you been waiting on your big break and you're like, uh, honey, anybody call today? Uh, yeah, we, we got a call from the milkman and the paper boy and oh yeah, um, <laughs> that was actually the theme song Full House for a second. <laughs> <laughs> we got a call. <laughs> <laughs> We, get, we got a call from, uh, from the neighbor and from the Radio Shack, and oh yeah, Vince McMahon called. Vince McMahon, what do you want? He wants to hire you. And you're, you're saying, oh my God, I gotta get up to Connecticut. And you fly up to Connecticut, and you, you fly into LaGuardia, get your rental car, and you drive an hour and a half out to some rich neighborhood, and you pull in, and you open the door, door and God damn it, pal. And you're like, okay, well, what do you got for me, Mr. McMahon? God damn it, man. You're a garbage man. You're a wrestling garbage man. God damn it, pal, think of the money. I, I'm a garbage man. I, so what I'm doing, I'm a wrestler, I've been wrestling every night for three years and I'm good at it, and you want me to be a, a garbage man. God damn it. God damn right. He make it sound pretty good. Good shit. No matter if you're the best wrestler in the world, you're a fucking garbage man. <laughs> Duke the Dumpster Drossy is number two. And then Million Dollar Man gets his gimmick, and he's in limousines and jets, and you're a right. garbage man. You're a garbage man, Carrying yes. dirty trash around. <laughs> but number one, because I would, I would rather be a garbage man than be a wrestling dentist. And I'm not talking about Britt Baker, because she's a wrestler who's a dentist. She's a... Have we ever talked about how fucking accomplished that girl is? She was here and we told her how accomplished. Did I? Yes. I was scared of her. Mm. Apologize to Big Ben. Say, I'm sorry, Big Ben. You're a legend. Say it. I'm sorry, Big Ben. You're a legend. You're a legend. I'd whip Adam Cole's ass, too. Mm. Isaac Yankum DDS. See, with Duke the Dumpster Drossy, you got this idea and you give it to him, but ultimately... I guess Duke Drosy. Like I, I don't, I don't know that he was going to be world champ. With Glenn Jacobs, he's seven feet tall. He's built like a brick shit house. He looks like a million bucks. And the best idea you got for him is Jerry Lawler's dentist. And you give him these gimmick badass teeth. And 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 my God, his entrance. I don't call it entrance music. Do you remember it? Yeah, it was just a drill. Just a drill. Yeah. Who wants to hear that? I, I just, Isaac Yankum DDS is the best worst gimmick of all time. And God, what? Occupational. Occupational. What did I say? Best worst gimmick of all time. You could have put. Don't you think you could have edited it on the screen? If I didn't say it right, don't you think you could have edited it on the goddamn screen? You could have put it behind me. It could have just said that. Open wide. <laughs> yeah, big good vignette. I thought that was Val Venus. A little raspy in the throat today. How do we forget about Val Venus? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Son of a bitch. Oh. How do we forget about the Godfather? He was a fucking pimp. Oh, look, we gotta do it all over again. We gotta do it all over again. We gotta re. Okay, we're not gonna restart. We're not gonna restart. We're just gonna renumber. We're gonna renumber. Okay. All right. Take out, take out Boss Man Mounting. They're out. Cops, Thin Blue Line, love you. Okay. They're seven. They're seven. Repo Man is six. I'm doing the whole list again. Repo, Repo Man's six. All right, IRS is five. Duke the Dumpster Drossy is four. Kane's still one. Also, but the porn star is kind of awesome, though. It's great. It's not the best worst. It's just the best. It's just the best. Yeah. yeah. Should, we, should we split the list into best worst? I think there's just three top ones. So What's the third? Well, Good one. Val Venus, Godfather, and uh, Kane's dentist gimmick. No, but that's that, that's the worst. All right. Worst. Worst. I think they're all amazing. Shut up. Wor wor worst. 
Isaac Yankum DDS. Yes. Best Val Venus. The man got to live as a porn star. And imagine, again, imagine you're on the independent wrestling scene. And, and Vince calls. And you go to the house. The same, same house, same everything. Over and over. God damn it, pal. I want you to pretend to fuck a lot of women. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, you're going to be a porn star. And they're going to want to fuck you. And you get to say a lot of one-liners that are funny. All right, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, take that. Now bring the garbage guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, I got to fire Duke the Dumpster Drossy. Duke uh, <laughs> I, 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 The money shot with his finisher. It's unbelievable. And then, and then Godfather just got to be a pimp. So pimp, porn star, top of the good list. Yeah. The bad list stays the same. And that's wrestling right there, baby.